Yeah. Hold on. Okay. All right. Since I got the uh, pads to sit in place from the previous video, now I'm just lubing up the bolt to hold on the brake pad caliper so I can mount it back onto the rotor of the vehicle. I just want to lube, lube everything you get, you know, things over time will get rusty, hard to pull off and everything. Just make it easier for the next time you do your brakes or whatever you do, you know. But everything's sitting in place, looks good. I make sure there's no grease on the pads. You don't want the grease on the pad making contact with um, the rotor. That'd be no good. All I do is move this aside for now. Like I said again, make sure there's no brake grease. Sometimes you gotta tap the pad in because the uh, pad itself is so brand new that it comes with painted um, from the factory and sometimes it's a little hard for it to uh, slide on. But eventually, once you hit the brake, it'll apply and all, so. I'm just gonna tighten, make sure we tighten everything up, make sure that everything's tight, so everything will be good when you're driving. But other than that, um, rotors are on, brake brake pad caliper uh, holder is uh, on being tightened down right now. I gotta go to the store, pick up full set of this because it's stripped and I still gotta work on the other side. And I gotta go pick up a uh, shim kit so uh, to um, on the other side because they gave me the wrong kit they gave me a front brake kit instead of the uh, rear shim brake kit oh no for, for right now everything should be good for right now I'll see you guys uh, later on today thank you for you watching my video um, please help subscribe um, comment and share for me and thank you again. I appreciate that. Uh, see you next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.